Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Um, this is Faisal once again. In this video series, I will be talking about uh, getting started with C sharp. Uh, how can we create a project, create classes, create functions, and how can we run that? And what's the what's happening, etc. etc. So let's do it so to follow this lecture series you must know how to write code how to know how to how to uh, write the for loop and the while loop and the other statements because I'm not going to cover those basic programming skill instead I will be talking about how can we use Microsoft Visual Studio to write C sharp code okay so this is Visual Studio 2013.4 we can check that yes it's update, update 4 and uh, I am also using Resharper okay so let's go to file new project okay so in here you can see many languages provided by the Visual Studio we will we will use the Visual C Sharp. You can also check there is C plus plus, Visual Basic, F Sharp. And if we expand Visual C Sharp, uh, we can see there are a lot of project types. So what are these? For example, uh, if I give you a single Notepad and ask you to write a software then what you need to do is to write everything from scratch so what will happen if you are given a defined timeline and you are asked to uh, build a project a desktop project so you need to create the forms and the buttons and the others every time you start working so what the Visual Studio does is to give us some templates. So template is basically some predefined set of codes and some forms which enables us to uh, code faster from uh, a, a on on a platform. We need to we don't need to write everything from scratch using this template. So there are a lot of templates in here. We can see that we'll use the desktop, and we will also use uh, the console application for the first video. For the next, we will use the others. And I will navigate to our okay. So C sharp. and it's the console application one let's keep it in this way press ok so the project is creating so if you are not familiar with visual studio then mm, ok so this is a class and this project has some might have some other classes so how can you explore those you can go to the solution explorer if you don't see this at the right side of your screen please go to view and you can see here as well solution explorer okay so in this project we can see there are other files such as app.config file it's another file which is automatically created and of course uh, a solution is composed of some other projects so we can have some other projects as well in here we can see that in later so press enter so what will I write I will write CW if I press CW it is a shortcut it will automatically write for me the console write line 
I'm zooming in my screen. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So to to smartly work with Visual Studio, you need to remember the shortcut keys. For example, uh, to save all of the changes you have made across the tabs or across the files pages you need to press ctrl shift and s that will save all so how do you know this you just ma mouse over on this uh, icon and you can see this is the shortcut key and also if you want to build this project and run this so what will be the key go to the build and you can see the build solution ctrl shift and b and for running it's start or it's go to debug start debugging it's f5 okay so i'm building it and running it but what happens the ui opens and closes to hold the ui keep open we need to wait for a key to be pressed now I'm running it again and it's hold on so this is the very 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 basic uh, project so what can I do else we can take two input from the user and concat it and display so to give to get the input we need to create a variable which will store the variable and again console.readline acha okay to to make this video more effective I will be describing the productivity tips as well so to work with any IDE or in any language you must need to understand what it is saying to you for example what will happen if I write it in integer in here it will not work but how do I need how do I know that this read line is returning me a string how it's written inside of the documentation of the read line if we press if we keep the mouse hover of the read line we can see there is a documentation okay so you can see that this method doesn't have any parameter so if I pass any parameter here it will give you a build error and this function is returning us a string so to hold the variable we need to be use a string variable and what this function does reads the next line so it's taking the whole line line of characters from the standard input stream so to work with any smart IDE or any smart language you need to understand what it is saying what it does and how you need to interact with this code for example what does this line do or this function do if we press them uh, keep the mouse hover on it we can see is the void the left left word you can see so the right line doesn't return you any kind of value so if you write suppose string r it will give you error why because right line is don't returning any value it is void and what it is taking as a parameter well it is taking 18 types of or 19 types of parameter you can see that okay I have pressed control P is a resharper command to understand the overloads so there are a lot of 
parameters types of parameters overloads in here you can check that and we have used the string value where is that we have used this one the single value what will happen if we use we, if we pass an integer well let's try it what will happen one see it does not give you any error so we can guess the right line function also takes integer as their parameter I believe you know what is parameter what is function calling what is return type so I'm not going to describe those I'm just focusing on Visual Studio so where was I? okay to store the input variable which I write onto the screen we need to store it so what this read line returns us string so press string input 1 equals to this one and string input 2 equals to this one and I'm going to concat this so I will write input 1 plus input 2 okay so let's not make it complex I'm just cutting it just create another variable result and returning the result in here it's pretty much simple so let's build it will succeed let's run it so first number so hello pressing enter then world pressing enter and you can see the result hello world so that's pretty much for the first video in this video I have showed you how to interact with the Visual Studio how can we create the project and what's the basic uh, 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 thought process should be to work with Visual Studio Thanks for watching. Love is.